Today we will be listening to a detailed audio description of the painting Playmates by Edward Henry Pottist. Pottist was an American Impressionist known for his paintings of bathers at leisure in sun-filled beach scenes. Born in 1857 in Cincinnati, Ohio, he studied at the Cincinnati Art Academy and in Antwerp, Munich, and Paris. The Cincinnati Art Museum did a deep dive into Pottis' work in 2013 with our exhibition, Eternal Summer, The Art of Edward Henry Pottist, featuring alongside his famous beach pictures, his sketchbooks, watercolors, pastels, prints, and oil paintings. Turning to Playmates, this painting is a little over 24 inches tall and 30 inches wide, and is currently in storage. It features two children and a dog standing on the beach as the waves roll in. Starting at the top left of the painting, you can see the green of a distant shore, as well as waves hitting upon rocks. The sky is a beautiful light blue, with just a few clouds breezing by. The sky contrasts with the dark blue waves with frothy peaks scattered throughout. It appears to be low tide as the children are standing on the sand near large puddles of water, but are very far from the waves. One child is older with dark brown chin length hair and a large red bow on the back of her head. She is looking out at the waves while holding the younger child who has a large pink bow in her hair. The younger, younger child is wearing a white dress with one arm outstretched towards the dog who is farther to the right of the picture, staring at the waves. The older child has a red gingham dress with ruffles at the neck and bottom of the sleeves that end at her elbow. The dress has a large white sash around the middle that culminates in a large bow at the back. Both children are barefoot. The dog appears on the right of the children with a large bushy tail. It is mostly white with black ears and black speckled throughout its torso. The viewer can see the shadows of the children and dog, dark against the light sand they are standing on. None of the figure's faces are visible. Both the older child and the dog appear to be staring out at the ocean. The younger child's face looks almost in motion, a blur of color and shape. All of the figure's hair and fur look to be pushed back by the wind coming off of the waves. This painting exudes all of the feelings of summer, bare feet, waves, and sun. Since we have been socially distancing, what water activities have you been doing to beat the heat? Have you played in the sprinkler, blown up a pool in your backyard, or maybe just listened to ocean sounds in your living room? Whatever you've been doing, we hope you've been staying cool. Be sure to check back every Sunday for another detailed audio description of a work from the Cincinnati Art Museum's permanent collection.